Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Today is a big day because we have an unspent knowledge point, which we're going to be using right away. We unlocked that in the last episode and today we will be unlocking our very first mod. And we have a lot of different options. We have quality of life, you know, we have wave stones, torch master, trash cans, vault compass, which is something I do want. We have elevators, alchemy, which gives us some potion stuff, world type production like easy villages, piglets, but parts etc however the thing that i will be picking today without a doubt is pouches this is just going to help with looting so much uh instead of me having to use our uh shulker boxes so I'm, I'm just gonna get this right off the bat we could get double pouches as well down the road which is really cool but i have prepared the items that we are going to be crafting today uh well what we need to get crafting we're going to be using quite a bit of our Laramar. but first before we do that i do want to check out our quests if we have anything uh cool so we have actually a rare one mine two pizza night ore in the vault we'll get a unidentified common plus vault chest plate some black opal we also have this fine 10 vault plating in the vault that should be easy enough we get some dollar chests chromatic steel i'll actually activate that because that should be fairly easy for us to get um we also have this chromatic steel we have a magnet and we have this uh sure unknown item let's let's see what we oh oh we actually got a magnet i i didn't expect us to get a magnet like this whatsoever all right well let's see if it is better than the one we currently have so it has 3.1 range ours has a 3.6 range yeah that's does have more velocity but our does have copiously which i'm happy with so um that's only one thing left to do yep gone <laughs> anyway we need to make pouches so to make a pouch we need to do this we also need to get a bundle uh we need magic silk block so that's easy enough we just need a bunch of magic silk we have vault essence but we do need the bundle uh which requires even more magic silk but also rapid hide which is i don't know is that something that i even have i don't think it is i'm going to take all the layer bars that i hold i'm also going to be needing a bunch of the magic silk uh i'm also going to be needing a bunch of vault essence i must be blind where is it there it is i was blind but yeah, I don't think I actually have any rapid hide, like, at all, which is a bit of a problem, all things considered. Raw living chest loot, yeah, I don't, I, I, ha I don't have any rapid hide, but I need a bundle. Hmm. While I'm waiting for the glass to spell so I can make an animal jar that I can fit some rabbits into, uh, we are going to take a look at what the next vault recipe is. Just to see if it's something easy that we can put together here, because we do... Oh yeah, that should be easy enough, except for the run flesh, which I don't think I have enough of. But anyway, uh, because we do have this quest right here, which we need to complete in order to continue towards perfecting jewels and black market goods and using knowledge, etc. So, yeah, I need, I need moss, which I did use the final moss, the only two moss that I had, instead of bone mealing it, because, yeah, okay. I, I, need, to, I need to gather some resources. I think. But before I do that, I can go ahead and make an animal jar, and now I can fetch rabbits, and also it gets snow and moss, and rotten flesh, apparently. Yeah. So let me grab my elytra, take this on, and where can I find moss, potentially? Hmm. I guess it is time to explore Explore. Guess I'm gonna go in this direction. Let's go. So any rabbits that I find, I will pick up with my jar. Oh, what do we have here? A village, 500 blocks in this direction. That could potentially be Mars. I, I doubt it, but I think villages can have Mars in their chests, maybe? You're not a rabbit, you're a squirrel. Not what I'm looking for. But we do have snow, which I just realized I don't think I have, I don't have, I don't have a, I don't have a shovel. Let me quickly fix that there we go i think i just need six i'll just get an entire stack because you know why not there we go now do you guys have rabbits or boss or both i'll i'll take both it doesn't look like it these guys have like nothing no chests or anything bad village i do kind of want to find the desert because i feel like you could get rabbits easier in a desert all i need is two rabbits once i have two i'll be able to breed them without any issues well, look at what I found. A pillager outpost. Don't know if they'll have anything useful. Actually, they had carrots. You know what? I'll take it. Because I don't actually remember how many I had at home. I have been flying for quite a while now without finding a single rabbit. I might have to turn around soon-ish. Actually, hold on. What did I just see? I just saw something down here. I'm sure of it. Oh, look at... Oh, I found moss. That could not have been a better timing. Wow, this cave is big. 
Oh, I'm just gonna get a bunch of this. I don't need much. I can just bone meal it. <sighs> Land. Thank you. I don't want to go all the way down there. Don't think I'll find any rapids if I do. And I just found another village, which means I can finally. Sorry, buddy. I need this. There we go. Ah, much better. And the search continues. Okay, I have hopes for this biome. Rabbits has to be able to spawn in here, right? Feels like a place rabbits would be. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Not what I need, though. How have I not found any rabbits yet? Why are they so rare? Look at this. None. Nada. Not one. I can't believe this. I just need two rabbits. Oh, I've started using the minimap to find entities in the world, but uh, still absolutely nothing. I thought that was a white rabbit and it's just a fox. Hold on. I found this very big village. Maybe, just maybe, one of these buildings either will have a rabbit around it or, or the items that I require. Please, I'll take the copper. Well, I suppose I'll take the emeralds. <gasps> yes, that's one rabbit hide. That only one though, but that's a rabbit hide. That is one step closer. Oh, okay, at this point, it's easier to search for these villagers than it is to search for the rat. Yes, another one. Okay, that's one bundle down. I'm gonna keep searching this village because I would ideally love to get at least two made. Please have... That's another two. That's another two. Bingo. More? You know what? That I'm happy with that. That is worth two bundles right there. Okay. Do we have another archery in town? No, unfortunately not. But I'm pretty sure this building had some. So there's potential for other buildings to have as well. Yes, another two. Okay, these villages are definitely the way to go. What earth happened in here? Huh. This one had some before of the same type of building, I think. Nope. No chest. 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 Yes. Nothing though. Nothing in here. That's crap. Not a rabbit. And the observatory. Nope. Just an emerald. I'll take it though. All right. That is six rabbit hide. That is enough for three bundles. That should hopefully do. I'm happy to, to head home now. Where, where's home? Okay. So in the future, when looking for lab rabbit hide, don't look for the rabbits, look for the village. <laughs> <laughs> At least, oh, that's another small one up there. I wonder if they will have some. I mean, there's a chance, maybe? I mean, if any of these houses would actually have chests in them, that would be a little bit helpful. But nope, don't care. Heading home. I found another giant village. Now that I'm here, I suppose I might as well loot it for potential emeralds, but also even more. Ooh, yes, potentially even more rabbit hide. I doubt the church will have any. Nothing in this building. Ooh, yes, that's three more. Ooh, golden apple. I don't think, yeah, they are kind of expensive to make, so I'll actually grab those. Those could be useful in a boss fight or something, maybe down the road. I'll actually take the coal, because I kind of do need that. Yes, two more. We now have 11 in total. I think this is more than what I would have gotten from hunting down rabbits. Ooh, diamonds and lapis. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Why not? Emerald blocks. Okay, this trip has definitely been worth it, because I use the emeralds for uh, the enchantment champions and stuff. Not bad. All right, I think that is it for this village. Now I can head home unless I hit another big village. Or some rabbits, who knows. And here we are, home sweet home. Now watch, there'll be a rabbit in my in my, in my my cave or something. I am now back from my journey, which means we can now go ahead and apply this and apply that. And well, at least the sun is setting. However, that means I cannot sleep because I do need run flesh. But either way, we got a pretty good haul from those villages, which I am pretty excited about. But we got the rabbit hide, which means we can now continue what we were doing before. Oh, wait, carrots. Do I need carrots for? Do I need carrots? No, I don't need carrots for this. Why do I want carrots? I guess for the, for the rabbits, which I never managed to get. It's fine. Everything's fine. While I'm waiting for proper nighttime to fall, I can go ahead and make bundles. I think I'm going to start with one, two, three three is probably way more than, I'm, than what I'm going to be using right off the bat. So the rabbit hide can go in there. Now I just need to find some Zumbos. Zumbos? Any Zumbos? No Zumbos. Also, this is really, really dark. I do apologize. Why are there no bad guys? Oh, that's one. Whee! Ow. And I didn't even get rotten flesh. Are you kidding me? Uh, I suppose today is just not my day. Zombie? Nope, that's a flower. That's creepers. Skeletons. Uh, dash. Why is I need to upgrade dash? Aha. Uh -huh. 
bruh. Run flash is like the one item that you never need. When you do need it, why do you never get it? It's always an item that you get a lot of which you throw out into the lava or something. Finally, come on. Ooh, the village surely has to have some. Oh yeah, that's one running. Just go to the village and you know you can find trouble. Didn't get a flash though, but at least zombies will be attracted to this place. Oh yeah, there we go. I really, I really need looting on the sword. This is painful. However, I'm too stubborn to go and apply it now. Okay, that's it. I'm applying it. Give me this. Thank you. That should speed this process up a bit. It did absolutely nothing. Bruh. Finally. The zombies just not like rain. Is is that what this is? Is this the conclusion to this? Because it definitely feels like it. Doesn't look like there's any zombies attracted to my villagers either. <sighs> zombie spotted. Going in for the kill. Nope. Second zombie spotted. Oh, come on. Looting did so much nothing to this. Let me fly. How is Rotten Flesh almost harder to get than Rapid Hide? Okay, it has to happen now, right? Right? Come on. It has to happen. Yes, 19. Good. Y y yes. Finally, I can sleep. Go to bed, go to bed. <sighs> Ooh, look at this. A knowledge star in the black market. Um, I don't think I can actually get it. Oh, it resets in two hours. I can't get enough shards for that. Why would you do that to me? Uh, anyway, here we go. Boom, completed. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a much bigger task than what I was expecting. However, now we can get back to what I was originally doing, which was making pouches. So to make a pouch, we need a perfect Laramar. We need a bunch of magic silk block, which I'm going to... Ooh, right, I need to calculate this. I need one for each... Okay, I need one for a stack upgrade, um, which I want to make at least a pickup upgrade and a stack upgrade. So I think I'm going to need three. Oh boy. Right, uh, Laramar. So perfect Laramar. We can make three, just like that. Beautiful. So that means we can make our first pouch, which in of itself is a great thing, but we want to upgrade it so we can have a pickup upgrade however i need to get this first so i need two more perfect laramar and what was the other thing i need uh chromatic iron ingots we should have plenty of that yes so upgrade base this stuff is expensive but it is definitely worth it rest of block chromatic iron and vault diamonds I don't appear to have any chromatic iron. Huh. However, that has been changed now. So now all I need is a two gold diamonds and a sticky piston. Oh, they were in here? Seriously? I also need a redstone block, interestingly enough. Now, another issue that has just risen. I need a slime ball, which I could make with dough using create, but I don't have create. And a fusion is not a possibility. Create is not a possibility. I would need to kill slimes or get it from Nora raw living chest loot how do i not have slime why do i not have slime eh. we do however have nature's compass which apparently does not need to be unlocked which if that is the case i will be very very happy please do work yes beautiful so i can go like this nice we're going on an adventure again i think this episode just kind of shows me that i need to do a bunch of preparation and resource gathering stuff and things oh, wow this mountain is huge by the way i haven't been in this direction yet that's amazing this place is actually really cool this would be a cool place to have a base as well like inside the mountain that would be awesome all right we're just a couple of hundred blocks off and looks like we have already entered the biome the sun is going down so i just need to wait for it and the world to load but then hopefully slimes should be able to spawn in this area yep this entire area seems to be not swamp wait that's not even the biome that <laughs> that I was searching for. Oh, here we go. Nope. Wait, that's not it either. We do have a village though. Ah, here we are. The proper big swamp. Or maybe not big, but it's a swamp nonetheless. Now I just have to wait. So I'm just sitting here waiting at the swamp for slimes to spawn, which has not happened yet. And it is also not a full moon, so most likely will not happen for a couple of days. However, I have found two interesting things. What? Please. Yes! Beautiful! Anyway, 15! Not bad. Uh, anyway, two interesting things has happened. One, I found uh, these buildings right here. Ocean ruins. And we also have some more Mars, which I don't really need at this point in time. Also, now I'm stuck. But we also have this. So we will land. Go to the top. See what this has. More carrots. You know what? I'll take it. And that's an iron ingot from the one that we lost. That's an iron golem in need of assistance. I will do that. And justice is served. Anyway, with that out of the way, I can now go to to this village find a I need a bed do these guys not sleep or something 
finally and head back home that should be cool wait for it oh yeah oh, look at that there's actually a cave underneath this mountain that's cool and finally we are home nice which means i can finally go ahead and make the pickup upgrade after making a stick of piston and a block of redstone and then we have the pickup upgrade and a stack upgrade would also be kind of nice but i think i'm gonna save the magic silk block because that means that i could potentially potentially make another pouch yeah because that means i could also i really need a wood farm don't i like this is an issue i mean it's only an issue if i make it an issue because uh surrounded by trees which means there's no longer an issue but you know what i mean anyway means i can now go ahead make this and go ahead and make this and make this yep i'm gonna have just enough for this so make the blank upgrade and then make another pickup upgrade and ladies and gentlemen that is going to be huge and this chest is full dang it yeah perfecto all right so we now have two pouches so i'm going to open this pouch and we're going to add the pickup upgrade which just means it can pick up items for us and thanks to the magnet that is going to be very easy now we can go ahead and take a look at backpack settings and we can choose slot memory which means I can add stuff to this and then I can tell it hey save all of the items in the in these slots right here and then I can apply that filter and basically it's filtered that I could do with both of these which means we can filter out things like uh, the vault does the vault diamonds the chip vault rocks the uh, rock chromatic iron some of these lockets etc we can also use dyes to dye these but i'm not going to do that yet for now i'm just going to run through a vault pick up a bunch of stuff and then sort through it when we actually get back home because currently these two just kind of function as a shulker box so i'll bring one shulker box with me and then i can set up what i really want to get picked up by these afterwards with all that said we need to complete an altar in order to continue and for that i think we're just going to run with a normal crystal i don't think i'm going to to force a, uh, a, speci a specific objective. I think we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. Because we are now level 10, which means elixir vaults can now happen on their own. So I guess it's time. All right, with my chest plate now equipped, which I didn't have before, I still had the elytra. Oops, we are entering the vault. Let's go. All right, it's a monolith vault. However, oh, I forgot blocks. I forgot to bring blocks to... Uh, <laughs> Mark my way, but that's fine. We have acacia that stands out, but yeah, we need to get five monoliths this time and things are being picked up by the pouches. That is perfect because that means everything is working. All right, and we are that's already an altar. Yep, that was easy. <laughs> and that is also a good start. Oh, hello. I also have to remember that chests can now be trapped, which is, uh, yeah, definitely something to remember. I do want to make sure that junk that we don't actually want, like sand and whatnot, isn't necessarily picked up this, uh, this vault run, because that's just going to be annoying, since I am trying to get a profile for, uh, or a setup for these, for these pouches. That's actually a lot of wooden chests here, that's, I'm not going to complain. Oh, hello. And bounty has been completed as well. Yep, find 10 vault plating. That was easy. And we have gilded chests. And coins. Oh yeah, I don't have I don't have gilded affinity just yet, so I'm just gonna have to throw it because that means I can now pick it up with the pouches. And what was that? A flawed jewel. I mean, that doesn't seem flawed to me. It has two things, and that's a pretty decent size, considering it has two things on it. Oh. Ah! <sighs> Hello. I did not see that happening. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that's trapped as well. Okay, yeah, the vaults are getting more and more dangerous. Okay, it came from that direction. I'm, I'm going right. I'm going right. What on earth is this? I mean, this looks cool, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, it looks very cool. And sounds cool as well. 
Also, it has a lot of wooden chests. I'm actually gonna put this vial here because I feel like it's potentially going to be useful. Ooh, more area. Let's see what we get, if anything. Benyu type, not bad. Ooh, I'm actually gonna block that because <laughs> if a creeper gets down here, that'll not be the best thing to ever happen, is it? Okay, we did get some sandstone in there, but that was actually not too bad. We got some escalium as well. Not bad, but I do want to find all five monoliths. Oh, poison, and I walked straight into it. And that is my second button left, and my phone is... Why is my phone ringing now? No! <laughs> phone call completed. I have to take care of this. I couldn't have taken this before that huge wave hit me. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so 14 minutes remaining. I'm only in like the third room, fighting my way through and getting all of these chests, which I'm perfectly happy with. But I think after this room, I'm just gonna hunt for the monoliths. I think it'll be worth the, the loot that we're going to get. So I'll finish this room, search for monoliths, and then I can always branch off afterwards near my portal home like going left or forward or something like that i do want these chests though because they do have things like focuses etc so far though with two pouches it's doing actually pretty good i think if i get one more pouch then it's going to be just perfect i also do see some other duplications like the scaffolding here and scaffolding it here as well uh, that would be that would be solved if I get the stack upgrade. Time to find the remaining monoliths. That's the third one already accounted for. And I do see some guild chests up here. I know I said I wouldn't loot anything, but guild chests are guild chests. I don't know what those purple flames around them mean. I don't know if that means that obelisk is nearby or... What is happening? That's an ore deposit. I will go... Oh, dear. I think I will go for that. Or maybe I take it on my way back. The purple flames again. If you know what those are, please do let me know down below in the comments. Because I don't know if that means a... Yeah, I, 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 I actually don't know what that means. So... Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, that was cool. That was very cool. I may have to upgrade my armor at some point as well. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, I'll get the ores afterwards. Ooh, hold up. What's this? I see ornate chests. But I feel like it's going to be a trap. But it's not. Ooh, yes. Uh, oh, come on. I don't know if monoliths can actually spawn in these rooms, if that's possible. Going upstairs real quick. Just to see. I mean, we do need the resources, so. Okay, eight minutes remaining. I'm probably just stressing, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Poor thingy has been found. Ooh, please. Did I get a yellow ore? I don't think I got a yellow ore, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh, let me, uh, yes, a monolith. Perfect. That makes this visit worth it. Quite a few living chests this vault, actually. I am not complaining. Okay, that was a trap. What is this? Mana. I can afford that. What does that mean? I don't know what this means. I feel like that's a lot of particles. 
but there we go. We got that. Uh, maybe get one chest. And I think I'm gonna head back and then check some of the rooms next to my uh, my home portal, just so I'm nearby. I just feel like that is the sensible thing to do. And this room was actually pretty cool. Was there a downstairs to this? Yes. Might be pushing it, but... Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't know if this visit is worth it. I mean, there's a lot here, but... Four minutes. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is when I start to stress out. Oh, hi. I really do want to find the last monolith, if at all possible. I'm happy I got speed, though, when I did. Okay, this is the first room, because I went right. I'm gonna just peek down here. Hopefully I get the monolith. There may not be one, but this is a huge ore place. Which I really do want to get, if possible. Uh, at least the ores that are currently visible. And just mine some of this away. You never know what you got. Black Opal, for example. More Larimar. Okay. Okay, I am one room away. One room away. There's so many ores here. This would have been a great find a little while ago. I don't think I'm gonna... Yes! Grab this, and let's go home. Less than two minutes. That could not have been more perfect. I would have loved to get a bunch of those ores uh, in those rooms, especially the bedroom type and such. Uh, but I think we'll be all right. I think it's going to be, hopefully, worth it. Okay, it's right there. I could have used 20 seconds getting a few more ores. Well, live and learn. I think that that was actually not too bad of a haul. I could spend a little bit of time getting rid of some of these items that I don't really care for just so that I don't have to deal with it when we get home. But I think that's good. Let's head back. 11,000 volt XP, uh, XP plus a monolith crate. We unalived 137 mobs and we looted 102 chests. That might be the first time we actually have looted like 100 chests. It might be. But yeah, there we go. And we can claim that reward as well right off the bat. Let's put this back here. And we didn't even need the chocolate box, which is a great sign. And again, if we get a stack upgrade, a lot of these things would actually go into the pouches as well. However, the stack upgrade. Oh, the stack upgrade is actually quite affordable. I think we should make two of these as possible if we've gotten enough silk. Anyway, um, I need to think real quick because I... Eh, excuse me. Oh, hi. Show yourself. There we go. And you got nothing. Okay, that is a disappointment. But yes, as I was saying, I need to think about this because I'm not happy with how the storage currently is working. Um, I mean, I can do something. I can take these. I, I think I just need to compact a lot of stuff. So if I like do something like this, that reduces the amount of vault dust by a lot. Vault plating can go where it actually belongs. This really should be like smelted down as well. These need to go in here. I think I can take a bunch of this stuff, put this in here, take all the plating actually, or a lot of it anyway. And we can just put that, well, we can put a bunch of the, the coins in here where we're using it anyway, right? And we could add a bunch of plating in there because I don't think we actually need it anywhere else really. Did free up a lot of space. And turn a bunch of these into vault gold. We can always convert it back. And we did get a wooden chest scroll. So you know what? I think I'm actually... Oh, you got one llama on the loose, pal. Anyway, uh, I think I'm actually going to use this to make a wooden chest for the gems. I think that would be kind of cool. So if we just go ahead and do this and then do that. And boom, we have a wooden chest that I think if we just get rid of this, it can be put right there. I know I really should have a better like base, but this functions for now, right? It functions for now uh i'm just gonna get all of these gems that we have like these and i think i saw some over here as well yep and we can just put those in there just to keep things that much more organized oh yeah also the model with crate boom and i think i'm potentially going to make a shulker box contain this sort of stuff so if i go into a vault i'll always have that with me all right with the chest now a little bit more sorted and spacious etc we can continue actually looking at our loot. Now, the idea is that I will be able to kind of lock this in and 
Why did the soul shards go in here? Why this? Why are the soul shards going in there? That's weird. Anyway, now obviously I don't want everything to get picked up like blessings. I don't need those being picked up, right? They don't need a slot as, as such. I can just have them in my inventory. But things like shulker shells, for example, that could have a spot in here. And I think, I mean, overall, I'm actually pretty happy with this. There's no duplicates. So if I can take, if I actually just empty this into my inventory, right? And then open this and then put something that is not a gem. Yeah, bounty pearls. Now I should go be able to go into uh, backpack settings and then slot memory settings, select all slots and then save settings to slot one, right? And I think, yes. Now I can basically empty all this and it will have saved it. Now if I just get my gems into where they're supposed to be, more soul shards apparently. Now I should be able to just add all this to here. I did get barely boost packs though, nothing. Now I can just press extract and add it all to here. That did actually making so so make sorting a lot easier. So now I'm pretty sure if I take an item from this specific list, the list take a, a sticks. If I don't have this pouch on me because that'll pick up anything. So if I hold this stick, Hmm, why didn't that go into here? Right, I was fiddling with this. It has to be looking like this, I think. Yep, so this gets picked up and placed in there. However, what happens if I have this? So now this can hold anything. Will it prioritize the one with a filter? Yes, it does. That's really cool. So if in theory this works, if this pouch gets picked, uh, picks up the stuff first, that means anything that is not in this pouch theoretically will go into this pouch and then we can set that up when we are ready for it. Now I want to make the stack upgrade at least one of them. I think I want to make at least one of them, uh, which requires a few materials, all of which I should be able to provide maybe except for no, I think I should be able to I should be able to do this. So there we go. That's an upgrade base require two volt diamond to perfect Laramara and this should be a stack upgrade tier one so we can add that to here now here, it will be able to hold more or it should be able to hold two stacks of sticks but not three now it'll go into the other pouch cool and we just verified what I just said because it picked this pouch picked up the lead because the other pouch does not have it in its filter everything is working perfectly ladies and gentlemen I'm so happy so happy in fact that I will sleep now we still have the two crates we also have one unspent skill point which I think I'm going to save. We also have these odd uh, unidentified boots, which I'm just going to identify right away. And we also have the quests to continue. Uh, the skill point I think I'm going to save. I'm not sure what I'm going to be using it on. Maybe speed tier two, maybe strength, actually. Yeah, things are starting to get stronger. Let's get strength. Let's get a level in strength. Why not? And what's this? Uh, common, five armor, durability, ability power, plus armor and plus health. And plus mana regen. These are actually not too bad. I mean, it is uh, level 11 compared to level 5. And I don't know if just because it's higher level, it's automatically better. Oh, it has plus uh, it has plus one arm. I didn't realize that. You know what? I think I'm going to switch. I think it's probably about time. Uh, I am going to enchant them with Feather Falling, though, because that is going to be a lifesaver. That, that goes there. Feather Falling 4. Add that to these. And I think that's going to be my new boots. Just to keep up with the trend, you know? All right. Right, let's take the bounty first of all, because that, oh boy, uh, because we kind of know what we get in there. Uh, more boots, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Maybe we should have waited, huh? Uh, add that here, add this to there, add this to there as well. Let's identify these. Okay. Uh, yeah, not not as good. Not as good arm, I don't think. Actually, that's level eight. That's horrible. Yeet. Now we have the monolith thing, and I'm going to be placing these pouches, because I don't think, I, I won't be needing them in the world world. I'm going to place them. There, perfect. Let's see what we get. Uh, ooh, we got some orbs, we got some jewels, we got something else. Let's pick this up. Uh, right, we got an unidentified vault axe, an unidentified vault sword, we got some orbs of regret, we got an unidentified relic fragment, and we got shoveling, two jewels of shoveling, eternal soul, chip jewel copiously. That's not bad, but the size is a bit meh. Uh, a vault chest plate and augment. Ooh, so we can, okay, so with the augment, I'm pretty sure we can change the theme of a vault on a new crystal. I think that goes into the special chest. Th this is a special chest now, not just jewels. That's really cool. All right, let's see what relic we get. That's a new one. That's a, it's a new one. And I think I have a chest 
right back there for these. It's in the it's in the it's in the cupcake relic category, which is a new category for us. We're gonna place that right there. Actually, right there. Boom. Now let us identify this stuff here. Okay, let's check the chest plate. Uh that is four armor compared to oh three uh four armor as well. Ability power, increased attack damage. Oh, it can increase attack damage. That's actually not bad. Less better though. Let's compare. So defense is 31. Okay, no. What I said earlier about the percentage going up just from the level. Uh that that's not a thing because this just played as level three. Uh, damage did increase by one mana is decreased. I think I'm going to stick with the mana actually. I'm not convinced yet. All right, sword uh, has to compare it to this one. So this is 12 damage. We currently have 11 and extra attack range. This sword is actually good. We also have arthropods damage, which I'm eh, that's a bit of a meh. Uh, that's actually a lot more attack range. Yeah, th this sword is actually a lot better. I need to get on breaking three on this, but first let's check it and take a look at the axe. Uh, attack range, undead damage, stun attack chance. Uh, one attack speed. Isn't that way more than the sword? No, that's a lot slower than the sword. The higher the number, the better. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really interested in the axe. However, I am interested in the sword getting on breaking three. There we go. All right. Overall, that was not too bad. Let us take a quick look at the quest here. So we completed this, uh, which gives us a chest scroll. Ooh, an altar chest. That's a very special one. I'm going to save that for a special occasion. Now, the next quest we have is perfect jewels and this quest I'm going to wait for the next episode yeah I'm sorry but before we go I do want to go ahead and convert all this knowledge essence into knowledge shards just like that so that's six we can afford to hold up. We have 24 Benutite, which means we can get four of these and an extraordinary Benutite. Hold on here. Hold up. Hold up. Yep. I think we can do this. And if we get just a little bit more Benutite, that'll be two knowledge stars. That's incredible. I actually don't. I haven't. I haven't even thought of what the next mod we unlock should be. So please do let me know down below in the comments your suggestions. Vault compasses a nice thing to have. Waystones are cool as well. Elevators are cool too. Uh, but storage, something like drawers would also be very nice to have. We're getting into the point of uh, storage being a little bit of an issue. Something like re refined storage and applied logistics would be cool as well. But drawers in general would be nice. Uh, simple storage network, I don't think I'm actually going to do that. Colossal chest would be cool too. Um, obviously, there's junk management. Uh, this controller allows you to specify nine items by default that would be automatically deleted, deleted on pickup inside a vault that would be nice such as like um scaffoldings and things like that it can be upgraded as well that would be cool but that is also for generating power would be cool as well uh big mods like mechanism is six thermal expansion is four production would be very nice as well yeah i need to have a think uh you guys let me know down below in the comments which things you think i should go for i'm leaning towards straws but i will li be listening to you guys' suggestions down below i'm gonna be waiting to take this i'm gonna put it in this chest right here just because maybe i want to make two of them at the same time and i don't have the text being up here while running vaults and stuff like that but i have to see what the next recipe is it is just a thing well that should be easy enough why that, uh, well, at least I have it. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, do please leave it a like. Leave it a support the channel a ton. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and enable those notifications so you don't miss when I upload next. Also, join my Discord server as I post in there when I upload and go live as well. But that's it. That that llama. That you're staying the night and then you're going. Got it. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye.